Hello guys, welcome back to the W Podcast. My name is Watson and it's Thursday the 20th of July guys. That means it's the first Impact Wrestling episode since Slammiversary. I cannot wait. We had some amazing surprises at Slammiversary including five brand new champions. Starting with the digital media champion which Kenny King is now the brand new digital media champion and then the knockouts champion that was taken home by Masha Slamovich and Killer Kelly then we had that Impact Wrestling Tag Team World Champions taken by Subculture that was a shocking one that way and then we had the X Division Championship Leo Rush. Leo Rush is the brand new exhibition champion. And then to top it off, we had a brand new knockout world champion. Trinity. A King Diona Parazo tap out. Amazing. I can't wait to see what um this tonight's brand new episode will bring us. You know, guys, we've got all these new champions and showing me that there's a refresh impact wrestling has decided to refresh a season of impact wrestling and hopefully that will you know include things like a music we need a brand new theme song we need brand new graphics we need a brand new everything like just brand new graphics including the colors over there all these Things, guys we need brand new it's been ages since impact wrestling i've done a refresh i think the last time was slam adversary 2021 so it's been two years since we had like a new theme song i could be wrong it could be 2020 but yeah we just need something brand new you know and it's because like impact wrestling they've been talking about you know ever since they promoted Scotty Amo as the president of Impact Wrestling, they have been saying that they're going to go like, they're going to act um, ruthless. They're going to go with um, getting different um, acquisitions. They're going to be very ruthless. They're going to be taking as many as they can. And they haven't done that for the past uh, four months, I think, since Scotty Amo has been president. And they haven't, you know, acquired any any companies yet. So I thought we we're gonna be getting like things like different companies, including wrestling companies, um, boxing companies, MMA, all these things. They've been saying that, but it's been a hush hush. I know, you know, like it's it's not easy acquiring these things, but like when you say it, you know, we expect you to do things like that, and like if if it's about money you know just get investments like it's great having impact wrestling on his own but there's there's different platforms you know we need could we maybe have like impact wrestling on like a network like a channel 4 or a bbc but mainly something like that where you know it's easier to watch impact wrestling on a on a weekly base because not many people have this own I surely don't have this on, so I have to watch on YouTube. But uh, yes, it would be nice to, you know, to have like a local channel. And also like just show us the money, you know. The some one of the things that needs to be one of the things that needs to happen is Impact Wrestling needs to have a a new crop of um production crew. You know, we need brand new people. Some of these guys have been in Impact Wrestling for five years or even over five years and you can't really develop any further, you know, when you're doing that. We've we've been saying the same things every single, you know, for the past three years, you know. They're not focusing on the crowds. They're and the crowd is one of the main big reasons of being successful. You know, we want to see the crowds. So one of the things that they can do is just um uh, let other uh, let some of these people who've been in impact, you know, the production crew, like let them go, bring in new people that can, you know, give us like good lighting, good sound. Because if you see like AEW and WWE, you know, they're up there, like with the with the 
with all their life equipment and everything like with the production so we just need you know anthem to give us you know start spending more money and then we can you know obviously the in-wing stuff that's great but like outside the in-wing things we need more cameras you know slam of us was a great place to have like 500 cameras you know starting off like outside the campus you know the college you know bringing us into the where the upper deck you know where the cameras were being set up there should have been like uh what cameras on the top deck yeah because that's a great venue you know but yeah it's been a wonderful pay-per-view at slam vest and i cannot wait to see what happens you know moving forward you know the future the new era of impact wrestling hopefully we get those new music you know thank you very much guys like share subscribe and i'll see you next next time cheers take care bye